Hello friends, welcome to Fox Your Tech. So today we're gonna see the another topic on Linux. So this will be like um, auto fix transition order is cyclic error. And this may seem mostly on the system CTL command. So whenever you try to start any services or sometimes, right? So you may get this error and your service may stuck or it may not be able to start. Right. So today we're going to see why this happens and how we can identify the cause and how to fix it. Right. So let's jump into the real time example. So let me share my screen. So let's check it. Okay. So in this demo, so I'm going to take uh, two services. So uh, we'll see that what are the services, but I'm going to start from Docker service in my system. Okay. So what is the first step we're going to perform? We're going to try to start Docker service first, and then we're going to see what is happening. Okay. So let's try to start systemctl start docker so you can see when i'm trying to start my docker service it's giving an error called transition order is cyclic and if you want to like to see more details you can check in the systemctl status command so let's check it what is happening okay so when we read it so you can see there is a found ordering cycle in the docker start and found dependency on our size is lock. And again, it's looping here and there. Right. So we got to know so Docker and our syslog. There is two services involved here. And we need to check why this is happens. Right. Okay, let's quickly check what is the status of our syslog also. As there is our syslog also in this list. So we have to see. Okay, so it's also in the same status, correct? So now we have to see why this is happens and how to fix it. So let's quickly do one more thing. So as it's telling dependency, right? So it's telling dependency. So in system CTL, there is a command called system CTL list dependencies. And before and after. So because if you see the list dependency, it's involved both in the system CTL because if you can check the Linux booting process, there is an order of services has to be listed and based on the order, the service will be start. Why? Because there will be some dependency for, let's assume like you want to start any kind of network related services, obviously for that network service should be up first, right? Like a IP table should be assigned. Right, so those kind of things has to be, there will be a from pre-dependency and post-dependencies, those services should be up and running. So for to identify that, if you want to see any service where, which service is main service, and before that what is happening and after that what is happening, you can just run this command system CTL list dependency. And let's say like a before, I want to check before Docker, what are the service it's starting, okay. So your case, you can change any other services and see. So you can see what are the main services. So there will be a limited service as one of the Docker is one of the critical. Uh, so mostly it starts earlier, the system starts. So these all the service should be started. So when we see before, you can see there is a RCS like it there. So which mean if you want to start Docker, the RCS log service should be up. All right. Okay, so let's check what is happening after that. Also, so if you want to check after Docker service, what are the services starting? You can run this command and see what all the services are coming up. Okay, there is a more number of services is coming up here. So let's check it together. Okay, so there is an, another interesting fact. Even this is listed even in after, so which is completely not possible right before and after there is no relation either it should be before or it should be after okay let's quickly check even for rsys lock so what is happening so let me check rsys lock again there is rsys lock and you can see docker is available in rsys lock and there is more number of services so next we're gonna check before what is the service it's going to start 
So for before also, I'm gonna check the command. Okay, so you can see in the before command, so what is the services are there? So let me quickly clear my screen and run this command again. Okay, so as we seen after also there was a Docker and before also Docker. So something is wrong in the configuration, system D configuration. So let's check the system D configuration. Okay, so I'm going to see the configuration on. So by default, the path is, you can go to that CD ETZ system D system and multi-user target because these are the services used by multi-users. So in that we can see Docker services are available and our syslog services available. Otherwise you can see in the different folders that will be either you may create your own folder. So in that case you can find the service list here. Okay. So my case I'm going to check it in the multi user mostly it will be here but in case sometimes if you are customized you have to check it on the particular path. All right, so let me first check docker.service. Okay, so you can read it from the top because always the dependencies before and after will be defined on the top. Okay, the unit section, the unit section you can see after, with the after what all the services needed. So until the service is started, so you can't see that. Sorry, uh, after this particular service has started, then only your uh, Docker service can be started. Okay, so which means after means so you can see after also there is a RSS log, right? And also there is a dependency called require, like a after before also it's need before Docker service starts also they mentioned is like a RSS log is needed. Okay, so in that case, obviously there is something wrong, or there is some misconfiguration or something got changed. It may be happen sometimes when you do automation or some there is a multiple people working. So there will be an unknownly or very inefficiently we may add it. It's a human error again. So it cannot be skipped but we can, we can fix it. Right. Or there will be a different service. My case I'm just taken as a two service the example. But your case it will be a different case. Different service will be there. And this is a place you have to check what is happening. All right. So, but our case, our syslog can now need to be start along with Docker. So I'm not going to have it here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete it. Okay. And I don't want to be here. Or if you say like, uh, okay, let's keep it like our syslog. Okay. After the our syslog service, so after Docker service, our syslog can be started. Okay. So I'm going to keep it here. I have saved my configuration. So before I'm going to start, I'm going to quickly show you the R slug also. So what is defined there? All right. So even in there, there is a mistake. Even after also they mentioned Docker service is required and require also it's mentioned as it's required, right? So obviously there is some cyclic is happening because both is inefficient and both cannot be done. It's not possible to do this, right? So let's not have a require here because there is no relation between Docker and RCSLUG. There is no dependencies. If you speak about Docker plus Docker socket, yes, there is a requirement. But syslog with Docker, there is no relation or no requirement. It's, it can be a standalone services. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to say again, it will be a cyclic error because there we mention after Docker, you have to start Dars syslog and here if you put again, there will be a loop. I don't want to that to be happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the Docker completely from this Dars syslog as there is no dependency for this Dars syslog service. Until you are running Dars syslog on Docker, yes, there is a requirement. If you are running the service from the Docker or inside the Docker, then you have to men mention this and your execute says, this complete service part will change when you are running with the Docker. As here, though there is no dependency with the Docker, it's going to be a standalone service in the Linux box. So let's not have those things. Okay. All right. So we have changed the details and we have made it. So let's quickly do this. 
So whenever you are changing anything on the service file, so you need to do daemon re reload, otherwise your service will be failed. Let me show you that also. So let's say like, uh, so let me try to start. So then I'll sh show, get that error. So you can see this is still failing because just we configured and this still doesn't know that details, correct? Or let me check for the RSS log what is happening as, but anyway, we have mentioned after the RSS log, it's happening, right? So let's see that. And even if this is still there, correct? Okay. So what I'm gonna do system CTL, daemon reload. So then only the change, whatever you mean, meant, it will be effective. So now I'm gonna start RSS log. Now you can see there is no error because after this daemon reload, whatever the configuration we given, it's all refreshed in the system detail database. Now the service is up. Let's quickly check the status. Is it really up or there is some error? Good, so we are seeing it's active and running. It's a well and good, right? So now let's try to start Docker also. Docker, good. So we got no Docker also started. And let's check the Docker service. Very good. So let's quickly run the Docker command and see that Docker ls. Yes. There is no container, but we are good now, right? So the service is running and now even we can check system CTL list dependencies hyphen hyphen after docker and there will be a RSS log because we have defined in the docker service but when you are going to see it in the RSS log there won't be a docker because there is no dependency we decided and we removed it okay so like this you can troubleshoot if there is any transition error on your booting up sometimes if you are defined like this even your system got rebooted the service will be on the hello so with this kind of uh, commands or the setup you can troubleshoot this issue hope this video is useful guys thanks for your time keep learning bye bye take care